guys this is Chris from our highest potential Chris M Manley on Facebook and Christo underscore our highest potential on Instagram and we're going to talk about distilled water today or I'm going to be discussing it and reading from some documents online that uh, some documents that <laughs> are located on a website that has been taken down uh, some of them located on a website that has been taken down so I'm having to use an archive to access it of course there's you know all kinds of heinous crap on the internet but this stuff oof, dangerous dangerous definitely dangerous to profits let me tell you dangerous to the medical industry and dangerous to profits and we're gonna talk about some of that info today because I want to be the biggest thorn in their side ever so anyways, I'm going to do an intro, a little guitar here, and hope you enjoy it. Distilled water. Distilled water. Such a mystery. Let's see. Oh, let's go to the authority in health. WebMD, the authority on health. Because, you know, people that frequent hospitals and take lots of prescriptions, they're super fucking healthy. Man. If that industry made you healthy, those should be the healthiest people around, right? The people that are there the most. Getting their fix. Unreal. Okay, let's see what these guys say. This is WebMD. Tap, bottled, or sparkling. But what about distilled? Well, first off, they don't serve this in restaurants. Because... People have been told that distilled water will leach the minerals right out of you. It'll leach minerals from your bones even. You'll be like a jellyfish if you drink this stuff. Be careful that distilled water might just leach your very bones out of your body. You will be an invertebrate. Let's see. Okay. They're saying that, the, that distilled water is not that different what from, flo from what flows out of your kitchen faucet, but distilled water goes through a process that sets it apart from other types of water. Okay, first off, this should be a comma. 
not a period WebMD guys are so smart anyways okay I, I I'm bitter towards these guys so I'm gonna try to keep my uh, little the little tiny things that, that don't matter so much to myself okay what is distilled water distilled water is steam from boiling water that's been cooled and returned to its liquid state no it's not that's just one that's just one type of distilled water there is uh, your orin or urine as they call it it's really orin orina is the word in Spanish and it's easier it flows or and or and it's like a nice it feels good orin to say it but urine urine makes you purse your lips like ew ew urine is gross I'm telling you it's subtle but it's that deep the deception let me tell you okay some people claim distilled water is the purest water you could drink so WebMD why are you guys saying that why are you saying some claim <laughs> it is it's fucking plain old water it's just two molecules it's not uh, water with sediment in it which is everything else anyways all water no matter if it comes from a natural spring well or regular tap may have trace but safe amounts of minerals safe amounts of course what the fuck are these guys okay what are these guys saying may have trace but safe amounts of minerals bacteria pesticides safe okay may have safe amounts of pesticides and other contaminants wow these guys are you know why it's safe to them because tests were run to see and I'm telling that I have a reason for this I'm not going to get into it. it it would take it would make this video a lot longer and I'm trying to make this a quick one actually like quicker than most of them since we're just talking about one thing but safe to them means safe within your lifespan of 100 years or 80 years yeah you can take on this sediment and you can get old and at 40 40 fucking years old dude four decades is nothing man people are already complaining even before that they're complaining about problems with their back and hips and bones and aches and they can't move like they used to and blah 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 it's because of sediment and water and cooked crappy food and other things but these are the sediments that I'm talking about the buildup lots of buildup and it ends up in your body all over the place all through your body and blocks the blood and I went over this in a previous video that I just did about aging blocks the blood from re reaching different portions of your body okay distilling rids water of all those impurities okay yeah it also removes more than 99.9% .9 of the minerals dissolved in water yeah more than meaning a hundred percent it's there are no impurities in true distilled water so anyways I'm not gonna sit on these guys uh, site let's just see what they say is a type of purified water salts minerals blah, 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 removed Distilled water is safe to drink, but you'll probably find it flat or bland. Are you guys kidding? Hey, any of you who've drank distilled water, please comment below if you would. Do you think it tasted bad or flat or bland? What the fuck is water? First off, water should not have a quote-unquote taste to it. If you have a taste, then there's crap in the water. I mean, do you really want to taste water? No, it's supposed to be pure. That's that's all water is, is pure. It's supposed to be. And then look, let's see, they go on. That's because it's stripped of important minerals. Okay, here's where the fucking lies. You guys, these guys sicken me. Stripped of important minerals like calcium, sodium, magnesium. There we go with the magnesium again. They give tap water its familiar flavor. Oh... From the, do you get to taste the shit that's in it too and the rust and the chlorine what about that you guys should mention that too the chlorine that's in there yum 
Yummy. What's left is just hydrogen and oxygen and nothing else. Oh, oh, how disappointing. It's too pure. There's nothing else in there. It doesn't taste good. Oh, WebMD, you tards. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you guys why this is a good thing. But let's move on here. Distilled water. Okay, we already know what these guys say. How to make it at home. Can you drink it? Yeah, it's cheap, guys. You know, it's, what is it, 80-something cents sometimes to like a dollar-ish a gallon at the store when you find it, mainly in the U.S. Uh, when I'm in Mexico, I can't find it anywhere. When I was in Italy, couldn't find it anywhere. It's crazy, man. Crazy. All the people know, all people know about it in those places is put it in my iron for when I iron my shirts. I don't even know if people put it in their radiators anymore. That's, it's supposed to go in there. Do you ever wonder why distilled water is used in your iron and in your radiator in your car? I'll stick to the iron mainly right now. Why do you think they use distilled water in the iron? Because guess what? If you use regular water like the shit these guys promote that's got important minerals in it, well, guess what? You're going to have rock blocking up your iron and you're not going to be ironing shirts you can see it you can see when people have used other than distilled water in an iron you can see the white and brown and rusty looking deposits in there from the metals and the other crap that's in that water it's garbage man distill one gallon of water in fact you know what residue let's see if they show the pictures here I, I went through some of these <sighs> okay here's a example of some eesh, that's nasty San Diego city water right there these things usually they're about a gallon so this is what's in there after a gallon of water how many gallons of water have you drank in your life do you think this stuff gets stuck in your body. These minerals, these important minerals that are stripped from the distilled water. When you distill distilled water, if you took the distilled water and distilled it, this is what the container would look like right here. That's what would be left because there's nothing in there. All you're getting is pure freaking water. But after distillation of city water, tap water, whatever, this is an extreme. Like I've I've never seen it this bad. This is pretty shitty. But I mean, I've seen, let's see, I've seen very similar to this here. Let me get the pointer going again. I've seen this kind of residue. Uh, mostly light like this. I've seen this kind of residue here, this kind of color. Uh, I've never, I've seen that. That looks nasty, whatever the hell that is. Um, but I mean, this is what you get. This is what you get. This, I've seen this plenty. This is what you're getting after you distill down these. Go buy Evian. Go buy your Fiji water. It's going to look like this after you distill it. Okay? Go get your reverse osmosis. It's probably going to look like this. Minor. Minor, but still sediment in reverse osmosis water. It is not pure water. I've distilled reverse osmosis from an expensive distiller. Thousands of dollars. Those things are not cheap. And they do not create pure water. Only distillation produces it. Or fruit. When you eat fruit, there's distilled water in the fruit. The fruit water. Your pee is distilled. Everything in there is living. There's no dead inorganic matter. There's no nothing toxic. It's all friendly to the body. So there is no problem with those. So number one distilled water would be your orin. And I'm not even going to use the other word. Orin. Uh, second would be distilled, just straight distilled water. Even the stuff in the plastic jugs. Because the minor amount of plastic residue that might leach into the water or get leached into the water by the distilled um, heavier negatively charged molecules 
will be dredged out with the water as you drink it. It won't get stuck in your body. Um, yeah, that's an extreme case right there. That's nasty. So I'm going to explain really quick with distilled water. Distilled water is the only pure water, distilled water, fruit water, your pee, coconut water, and fresh fruit juice, fresh squeezed, the only distilled water types. And they are negatively charged, and those negatively charged molecules carry a heavier weight than the positively charged crap that's stuck in your body. And these negatively charged distilled water molecules literally draw those positively charged pieces of matter in to them, bond with them, and come out of your body. They pull those elements out of your body, those minerals, so-called minerals, that your body will never use. The only thing this stuff here in this water is doing is getting stuck in your body. And it's part of the reason why your body ages. It's part of the reason why your body ages. Um, veins get hardened. Skin. Your body's not as flexible. Uh, so many bad effects from this stuff, from this sediment. It literally ages you. It literally kills you. Um, and I'll have to say it again. The number one killer is salt. Salt, salt, salt. Absolutely terrible. I don't care if they get the salt from mines up in heaven. It's rock, it's inorganic, and it will harm you. It's very caustic. I might read a little bit about that in this video. Enough of that. I was looking at this earlier, checking molecular weights, but I'm not going to get into that. That would take forever. Okay, uh, real quick, I have to add this. I'm always going to hammer on salt because it's just a flat-out frickin' poison and so many people are fooled by it. Salt is not sodium. Inorganic salt. Inorganic salt is not sodium. It is sodium chloride. Yes, there is a molecule of chlorine in there. Sodium chloride, commonly... So when, they, when they're listing sodium on your label and it just says sodium how much sodium is in there that's their little trick that's their little trick instead of saying sodium chloride which is what's in all those foods that have if it's got a label on it it's processed I mean they don't have to list ingredients you know hey what's in a mango um, fruit good stuff hey what's in that dried mango uh, well, it might just be mango, or it might be mango with some kind of preservative, or who knows what. Uh, they might even add sugar to it, or they, uh, I know that they're probably not going to add salt to that, but un unless it's one of those chili, uh, chili versions of uh, mango, you know, where they put that chili powder on there, that'll probably have sodium chloride. But they won't call it sodium chloride; they'll call it sodium. Okay, but sodium chloride commonly known as salt uh, da, 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 NaCl sodium chloride okay what was I commonly used as a condiment and food preservative large quantities of sodium chloride are used in many industrial processes and it is a major source of sodium and chlorine compounds used as feedstocks for further chemical synthesis a second major application of sodium chloride is de-icing of roadways Perfect. Well, uh, let's see. I wanted to show you guys something here that kind of, kind of surprised me. Bunch of industrial uses. This stuff powerful, man. Very powerful. Uh, put it in one. Put it in a wound. Put salt in a wound. Put some in your eye. See how it feels. It's going to hurt very bad. It's caustic. It's toxic. It will literally kill your cells in your body. So I'm not going to hammer on this because I've got videos. If you search my channel, I've got other videos on salt. Really good ones. Really good. I guarantee you haven't heard this info unless you've listened to my videos or you've read the Salt Crimes website, which has been taken down. I'm working to salvage the info, the great information that's on there. There are uh, quotes from doctors. There's all kinds of good stuff. 
Anyways, uh, food in industry and agriculture. It's a preservative. Um, salt, sodium chloride, has been used to mummify bodies. It's used to dry, to help, you know, to preserve beef, beef products, beef jerky, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, okay. So, enough about the salt. I don't want this to be a very long video. I'm not going to get into this because I already know what they tell you here on any of these sites that are, you know, that think they are based on science. And they're not. They're based on bullshit. Distilled water enhances mineral absorption. Well, here's the thing, guys. All the minerals, everything that's in your blood is created from gases in the air. That's where it comes from. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to read. <sighs> I wasn't sure if I was going to read this one because they put a little bit of truth and then they lie. Organic minerals versus inorganic minerals. Two types of minerals, organic and inorganic. Yeah, human physiology has a biological affinity for organic minerals. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe because we're organic, meaning we're alive. Yeah, that's why. That's why geniuses. Not talking to you guys, talking to these medical industry people. Most organic minerals for our body functions come from dietary plant foods. No, that's not true. Ah, that's why I have a hard time reading any of this stuff. A growing plant converts the inorganic minerals from the soils to a useful organic mineral. No, they don't, because plants remove zero mass from the soil, and this has been proven. These guys just choose to ignore these kind of studies. And they, and you know, the people that really know, the ancient wisdom, the people that are hiding that from you, uh, they know that we are alive because of the air not because of anything else and because of the energy that's all around us not because of food or even plants or even fruit fruit just happens to be the least damaging stimulant because it's all a stimulant it's all drugs and we are all drug addicted purposely from birth because people were scared to let their kids quote unquote starve because they thought they needed it because it's what, how they were trained I don't know how many generations that's been going on. Anyways, um, inorganic minerals from tap water are bad news. Okay, let's read this part. Tap water presents a variety of inorganic minerals, which our body has difficulty absorbing. The body does not absorb them. It shits them out, gases them out, whatever. Or, actually, <laughs> they just get stuck in your body. Their presence is suspect in a wide array of degenerative diseases, such as hardening of the... Okay, this is some of the stuff I was going to talk about. Hardening of the arteries, arthritis, kidney stones, gallstones, glaucoma, cataracts, hearing loss, emphysema, diabetes, and obesity. So tap water with its organ inorganic minerals. And it doesn't have to be just tap water, guys. Okay. All of the water unless it has been purified through distillation or if it comes from fruit or coconuts uh, like I was telling you or your own orin has inorganic minerals in it the stuff that the other guys were lamenting about being stripped from distilled water oh the important minerals okay liars this isn't true so did you see the things they listed off that's just they're just names of things. It's just the body dying. That's what all of that is, the body dying. What minerals are available, especially in hard tap water, are poorly absorbed. Well, I'll correct that. They are not absorbed. Or rejected, that's more like it. Or rejected by cellular tissue sites. And if not evacuated, their presence may cause arterial obstruction and internal damage. Well, I would say not may cause. People like to use stuff like may and might and possibly because people are, they have to talk like this. You know, they can't be definitive about things. 
um, for lots of reasons. It's a very litig litigious uh, society we live in. So, yeah, rejected by cellular tissue. Well, they actually get stuck in cellular tissue, these inorganic minerals. And you saw how much came from one gallon of water. Now just imagine all the gallons you've drank in your life. And imagine how much sediment is stuck all throughout your body, which is causing arthritis, hardening of arteries, kidney stones, gallstones, glaucoma, cataracts, hearing loss, emphysema, diabetes, obesity, or all of it, all of it. Um, it's all aging, it's all degeneration, it's all death. It's all dying, okay? Plain and simple, that water will slowly kill you just like salt does. They know this, but you need to die on time because if you live too long, you get too smart and you're hard to control at that point. You have lots of wisdom. People learn. So, anyways... Is it any wonder why the body prefers the richest source of mineral substrates from organic foods instead of the mineral poor sources from tap water? But anyways, I'm not going to read all this stuff because it's not even, it's based on quote unquote nutrition. I wanted to show you what salt and sodium chloride, getting back to that real quick, looks like under a microscope. Sharp edges, corners, this stuff damages your flesh, damages your tissue, damages your cells on the inside. Very caustic. Uh, let's see here. Distilled water kills bladder cancer cells as effectively as chemotherapy. Can distilled, can distilled water kill bladder cancer cells? That's the question doctors at the Department of Urology, University of Bonn, Germany are attempting to answer. The surprising results suggest simple distilled water might just be a bladder cancer cells worst nightmare. Okay. Um, not going to read all that. Basically, uh, distilled water dredges your body out. Dredges the body of inorganic minerals and sediments and old food particles that are just stuck everywhere, blocking up your, blocking up the evacuation of dead cells and cellular waste, toxins. It keeps the blood from clearing that the toxins out and from renewing the cells and by doing so parts of your body die and increasingly as you get older quote unquote older that's what I'm saying this is why distilled water is so important negative charge heavier molecules dredge your body out it's like taking a broom to the inside of your body medical industry does not want you to know this and it's the cheapest fr frickin water you can find all this alkaline water and I've got a water filter and everything, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're still going to have sediment and it's not going to be negatively charged. So this stuff's not going to clean you out like distilled water does. Like I've mentioned in another video, try a month, a gallon a day of distilled water it costs you a buck. $30 worth of water in a month and watch what happens. Let me know. I'd love to hear some testimonials. And that could be your start. Start that way and then start fasting after that, after you learned that I was telling you the truth. And other people probably have, to, well, not everybody's heard this stuff. Okay, this was interesting, I believe. Yeah, this guy back in 1891, pre-industrial revolution greed was saying, this engineer was saying that distilled water should be produced in mass quantities and piped into all New Yorkers. Uh, okay, this was interesting. Water in the Sumerian, in the Sumerian language, the word for physician is azu, if that's how they said it, I don't know, it means one who knows water. So azu means water or one who knows water, physician, and azu or ayazu means physician. And interestingly, azu, what's the color? Blue, azul in Spanish. I think, it, I don't know what it is in Latin, but uh, yeah, so it's all about water, man. We're almost 80% water, right? We're made up of almost 80% water, so uh, if you ingest water, make sure it's the right kind. 
You guys are going to think I'm nuts, maybe, some people, but you don't even need to drink water once your body's cleaned out. But when your body needs to be cleaned, it, cleaned out, you still actually need extra water, excess water, because you have de dehydrating elements. All those minerals and sediment and old food matter that's stuck in your body, all that stuff is dehydrating, and you need extra water to help clear it out. Distilled water. And again, the forms of distilled water your orin, your pee, number one, number one, number one, nothing even close. Number two, distilled water from bottles. Number three, coconut water. I would actually say coconut water could be right up there with the distilled water. It's pretty, it's pretty pure with, there's no pulp in coconut water. So I would say coconut water, distilled water in bottles or from your distiller, whatever. Uh, after that is uh, fruit water. Fruit, fresh fruit, um, you know, fresh squeezed juice, basically. Uh, this is another story. Water is an anesthetic. Distilled water can be used as anesthetic in surgery. Distilled water is a cleanser. Just as it cleans your body, it can also clean clothes and surfaces. And I use it myself on counters and stuff when I have to clean. It's works well. Mm, I'm not going to get into all this. It's going to take too long. But if you go to this site, um, I'm going to locate this on mine because they've already taken this site down. This is just an archive. So I need to get this stuff saved. Mm, let's see, what do we have here? Distilled water statement, John Armstrong. Armstrong. Uh, there were some doctor's testimonials. Let's see where it is. I want to read some. If there is in nature a remedy which deserves the name of universal, it is, in my opinion, pure water. Who said this? Who said this? This guy. Hoffmanus? Hmm. Anyways. A highly revered German physician and chemist who lived from February 19, 1660, wow, 1660 to November 12, 1742. If there is an, okay, he's the guy that said it. Uh, Friedrich Hoffmann from page 20 of Journal of Health, number 2, volume 1, September 23rd, 1829, printed in Philadelphia. So he's saying, if there is in nature a remedy which deserves the name of universal, it is, in my opinion, pure water. The use of it is so general and so necessary to us all that we can neither live nor preserve our bodies sound and healthy without it. Well, that's true if you've been eating all your life and you keep eating and you want to keep cleaning out, then yeah. But if you purify and you make a fasted lifestyle, then you don't even need this anymore. Your body does it all by itself. But you have to be cleaned up first. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. German, okay, the same guy says, if there exists anything in the world that can be called a panacea, a universal remedy, it is pure water, first, because it will disagree with nobody, anybody can drink it, because it's pure water, secondly, because it is the best preservative against disease, thirdly, because it will cure eggs and chronic aches maybe is that what he means aches yeah and chronic complaints fourthly because it responds to all indications so that was published water cure for ladies new york 1844 anyways interesting stuff i think you get the drift it cleans you out Anything less than absolute purified water is garbage for your body. It's all laden with set sediment. So if you want to keep adding sediment to your body, keep spending money on alkaline water and vitamin water and filtered water and reverse osmosis and whatever else you got. Honestly, it's all crap. You can go down to the store right now if you're in the US, if you're in another country, I don't know which other countries have distilled, but it seems to not be around in many countries, honestly. The ones I've been to, Latin America, Italy, 
Croatia. I don't remember seeing it there either. Um, just uh, grab it off the shelf for a dollar or buy yourself a $200 distiller off of uh, online. You've gone this far with tap. You'll live with filtered until you get your distiller, but I would highly recommend drinking it. Now, as far as showering, you don't need to shower in distilled water. Uh, your skin is a filter. Things don't just, you know, the body's not retarded. Things don't just come flowing through. Some stuff will, but the body's not going to let sediment through the skin. So just because you're showering in it doesn't, doesn't matter, honestly. There are some things probably in the water that's crappy for you, but I'm just trying to be uh, realistic here and just say, at a minimum, if you're going to drink water, ingest that. Uh, if you're down for it, start uh, start doing Oran therapy. It's the best thing. It's the best healing thing you can use. The best uh, distilled water. So, anyways, uh, that's about it, guys. That's about it, and I will. I'll post a link to this so you can read. You can read some of this stuff on the. I'll post a link to this on the video, under the video, and leave comments if you would. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you'd like to hear about in the future, if you want to do that. And I'm gonna to try to do more of these videos. I'll try to keep them uh, to a minimum. They don't have to be an hour long. So, anyways, everybody, uh, it's been fun. Hope you enjoy this info, and I uh, hope you use it. I hope you use it. We need more empowered people in this world. We need less lies. We need more empowered people. We need examples, not just a bunch of people looking to one guy, not a bunch of people looking to me or looking to some other person. You know, I'm not your leader. You guys know this. If you're listening to this, you I'm sure you know this. But um, you are your leader, man. You are your own leader. Don't look to other people. What are they going to do? Not to get on this subject, but uh, with all the crap going on. Who gives a fuck what they're going to do? What are you going to do? That's the question. What are you going to do? Not what they're going to do. Are you a little kid? Who needs a look and, oh, what's mom, what are mom and dad going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Who gives a shit what they're doing? Screw those people, man. You are the leader of your own life, your divinity. The religions teach it the same, but that's been kind of stripped from the doctrine of most religions. Anyways, um, hope everyone's enjoying their weekend. Thanks for listening. I'll be back at you with some more videos, but that's it for now.